guys, this isn't even funny anymore. I have tried to record this now. This is the 11th time now. 11. It's been a technical issue or, you know, me just like fumbling all over my words. Like, kind of like now. Hi. Hello. Good Saturday morning. This long mental health weekend so far has been wonderful. Uh, I haven't gone on a, like a tropical chill out vacation like most people would do, but you know, I like to chill out in other ways, different ways. So you guys saw my cute little spring apartment refresh, uh, which made me super, super happy. Yeah. Went out yesterday and did a little retail therapy. Um, it was awesome. And so the other, th one of the other things that I like to do to chill out, you guys, I love to watch cooking shows. When people ask me, you know, Meg, what kind of shows do you like to watch? <sighs> Hi, I like to watch cooking shows. You know, every once in a while, I like to watch a, you know, murder mystery documentary and maybe a rom-com every once in a while. But you can catch me watching cooking shows. And one of the shows that I really love to watch is um, Girl Meets Farm by Molly Ye. I think she's just the most adorable thing. Her smile is absolutely contagious and her personality, she's just adorable. Um, so the other day I was watching her program and she was making challah bread. Very timely because Easter is next weekend. And I love, you guys know this, I love to cook, I love to bake, and bread is not something I excel at. I suck at it, you guys. Um, and I've been wanting to improve my skills. And I watched her make her orange juice challah bread. And it looked pretty easy. Looked pretty easy. Um, didn't have a ton of ingredients. It was visually beautiful. And I love challah bread. Who doesn't love bread in general? Right? So I thought, you know what? Okay. Okay. Let's spend some time working on our bread making skills, you guys. Uh, the other thing, you guys, is that if I say you guys one more time, just slap me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The other thing, when I was setting up my KitchenAid mixer here, I thought to myself, I don't think that I have ever, ever had the dough hook on this machine. <laughs> Always the paddle attachment or the whisk attachment, but never the dough hook. So this is a monumental day. The first time I'm getting to use the dough hook. So I don't think that I'm going to film the whole process. If you guys want to check out the, you know, step by step, you can go watch her video. She's so much cuter and, you know, so much more personality than I do. So I would go watch her. But it's pretty simple ingredients, you guys. We've got some flour, some sugar, some instant yeast, a little bit of salt, um, a flavorless oil. I've just got vegetable oil here, two eggs. And then the juice of two oranges and the zest of one. And that's really it. <clears throat> Pardon me. And some coffee. Don't forget the, the second coffee of the morning. Yeah. Um, a bowl to, you know, whisk the whisk dry ingredients together. Uh, obviously, measuring cups and spoons. So I don't think I'm going to record the whole thing. I'm going to check back in with you in a little bit and uh, let you know how it's going. But very exciting morning. Just super chill. What I love to do. Okay, I'll check in with you in a little bit, you guys. I don't know, you guys. This could be a huge mess. But look at how full that bowl is. Six cups of flour. Six? All right, well, wish me luck. I'm going to cover this up. Put it on really, really slow. I just started it really, really slowly. No messes. We're good. Okay. Crisis averted. And her directions talk about, like, on her show, she needs it by hand, but you can do it in the stand mixer. And I'm going to do it in the stand mixer. Okay. We're looking. We're going good. Because who wants to need for 15 minutes? That's what the recipe calls for. Alright, looking good. Alright, here's where we're at. 
that has been kneading in the mixer, kneading for 10 minutes. Her recipe says that it will be a sticky dough, you guys, and it's not sticky at all. So I'm not sure. Um, I followed the recipe perfectly, and so I'm not sure, but we'll see. I'm now gonna transfer that into this lightly oiled bowl so it can double in size or rise for about two hours. Oh, and we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap. Put it in a warm spot and let it rise. All right, fingers crossed. All right, you guys. So my bread dough is over there. Well, not chilling, but chilling, <laughs> proofing. I'm um, excited to see how that turns out. I've been looking online at different braiding techniques. Hopefully it turns out because, you know, I'm awkward and clumsy, but here's hoping. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it in my previous vlog, but um, today, you guys, today's April 1st. Yeah, April Fool's Day. Uh, nobody here to fool. <laughs> but um, two things. I don't know if I mentioned it, but my sister and I, a few weeks ago, not a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, decided to do um, a virtual online, what's it called? Women's Epic 50 Mile April Challenge. So the goal is to get 50 miles in in April. It doesn't matter. Walking, running, treadmill, hiking, it doesn't matter. Um, so that starts today, but I realized that it was going to be pretty hard for me to track it unless I had my phone with me, which I don't have my phone with me all the time because I don't have um, a, like a fitness watch. And you know what? Amazon Prime, same day delivery, coming in clutch. Uh, ordered that mother about a half an hour ago and it's already shipped. Oh my gosh, what a what a time to be alive, right? So there's that. And I also have decided, oh, Kashmir is coming to say hi. Oh, no, but it's, it's Sammy Davis Jr. Oops, love you, Sam Bam. I love you, you're a good boy. Um, I have decided that the month of April is going to be a dry month for me. No cocktails at all. Um, and I have to flip my mindset on that and be like, this is good, this is, it's going to be good. It will be a little challenging at first, but it's gonna be good. I'm gonna feel so much better and I'll recognize how much better I feel and maybe then I'll even go two months, three months, six months, a year, forever. Yeah, so some making some, you know, good new healthy habits excited and you know proud of myself for that um and then tango's family just texted me a little bit ago that they made it home and they will be coming to pick him up shortly and i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty happy about that it's been a little bit stressful with his stomach issues um and he t he can be a barker and i'm not used to that my little dogs are so quiet right not used to it so he will be going home any minute um, but he's been, he's been a really, really good boy other than that. So just going to edit some videos, watch my bread dough, make sure it rises and fingers crossed you guys. I'm excited that it's going to turn out really, really great. All right, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of proud of these. I still need to put some poppy seeds on. I just put the egg wash and now I'm going to put some poppy seeds and let them, um, rise for a few more minutes you can hear the oven hissing warming up it's kind of unraveling oh no it's okay they're beautiful and i'm proud for a very for a first effort yay poppy seeds on and then we're gonna bake those babies i'm <laughs> pretty proud you guys not the perfect braids but for a first attempt pretty damn good all right you guys can I get a holla for my first attempt at holla? And yes, there were two loaves there, but Tango's family just came to pick him up and I sent them home with a beautiful loaf fresh from the oven and they couldn't have been happier. But, so yes, there are two more in the oven. They turned out beautiful. And I feel like I'm gonna try this with some butter. Yes, while it's still warm. Birthday shopping, let's go find some treats. Let's go find some treats. Easter tree. 
Patrice Cash. What are you doing? Birthday treats. Stay right there. Stay. Look what mommy's got for you. Happy birthday, munchkins. Happy birthday. Here's your puff a cup. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You don't know. You don't like to have it in the car, do ya? Good morning, you guys. Um... Not a super great way to start a vlog, but um, I am not having a good day. I, the mood swings, you guys, like I could cry any second. Um, <sighs> it's crazy to me how I could be one day just like so happy and everything is great and totally upbeat and cheerful. And now the next morning, I'm just like, I give zero fucks about anything. Like, I hate my hair. Um, the weight gain is really, really getting to me. Super down on myself. Um, and you guys, I have to go in just a couple hours and be on a podcast and be super cheerful and upbeat Meg. And I give zero fucks, you guys. It's going to take everything in me today to do this. I'm supposed to go to a concert later on tonight with my girlfriend. And I just want to curl up in a ball and cry. So the mood swings, you guys, are fucking brutal. I, I uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and I'm going to get through it. It's going to be okay. Oof. Okay, well, got my um, iPhone lens set uh, yesterday, and I've been struggling this morning to get it to work with my iPhone, but I think I finally figured it out. Um, you have to take the case off to get the lens to actually fit on, and I don't know, it just seems a little blurry around the edges. Am I wrong? Kind of like me, blurry around the edges. <laughs> uh, it's been another really interesting weekend, you guys. I started that... 50 mile April challenge with my sister and realized, oh my gosh, that's going to be a bit of a challenge because I don't always have my phone on me, uh, a challenge to track my steps. Um, ordered a, a fitness watch, you guys. I haven't had a fitness watch in years and years and years, but that's um, going to be very helpful and also to keep me mindful. But again, you guys, it's a distraction too. Like every time a, a message pops up, it's another distraction. So... I don't know. I'm iffy. We'll see. Um, the lens kit, how does that, I mean, does it look? I think it looks better getting a, a wider angle. Yes. Um, Monday, it is the last day of my four day mental health weekend, and it's been great, you guys. Yesterday, yesterday, God, I woke up in the worst mood. Just the worst mood. Like, I could have cried at any second, and I had some commitments that I. When I commit to something, you guys, whether I'm feeling it or not, I do it. I'm just, I am my word. And uh, was just not, didn't want to do it. Um, but a girlfriend and I were on some of her friends' podcasts yesterday. One of our goals this year is to start a podcast. And we went to learn exactly like what equipment they use, how, you know, just how it goes. Um... And just like the whole dynamic of that and it was an absolute blast you guys i'm so glad that i went totally changed my mood for the day and then um came home for a couple of hours and fed the dogs got cleaned up and then my girlfriend and i you guys we went to go see steel panther last night and apparently it had been about 15 years since the last time they had been in salt lake city and you guys it was an absolute blast such a blast. So yeah, it turned out to be a really, really great day. 
and it just reminds me to, you know, not feel sorry for yourself. And if you do feel sorry for yourself, flip your mindset. Like, you know, make it a good day. Manifest that shit, right? But it was good. Really, really fun. All right, guys. Um, now I get to go clean the carpets, you know, from my weekend rover friend. But it's all good. It's all good. Snow day. Yay. You guys, this is still, this this um, lens is just still pretty weird to me. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. But anyway, um, I got a lot done today already this morning. Um, cleaned the carpets, which was, you know, that's a job. <laughs> that's a job. Um, since it's a snow day and I'm home, I decided to put a Mississippi crock pot. Mississippi crock pot? What? Mississippi pot roast in the crock pot. Words are hard, you guys. Words are hard. <laughs> Um, and that'll be several meals. Um, I like to have it just as a pot roast. I also love to have it in shepherd's pie. Yes. And it is still winter here. Um, I am so ready to stop complaining about winter and start complaining about summer. But I'm bum ching. That being said, it's almost noon. Yeah, it's almost noon. And I am really, really hungry. Um... I decided since the carpet is wet, I'm gonna stay out of there, just stay in the living room. And um, I have a video to upload, I need to get that done. And then I'm just gonna, you know, it's my mental health day. I'm gonna, you know, find something on Netflix. But I need some lunch. I decided, you guys, I'm gonna make chicken a chicken salad sandwich on actual bread. Yes, I am. Um, what do you guys love to put in your chicken salad? Um, my chicken salad today is going to be obviously some rotisserie chicken and then I love to put in celery and um, I'm going to put in obviously some mayo. If I had Greek yogurt, I only had like vanilla Greek yogurt and we're not going to put that in chicken salad, but um, I have some slivered almonds, some dried cranberries and then some sprouts. I have to eat these sprouts before they go bad. But I, lo I love sprouts, and that's going to be the most amazing sandwich on potato bread, you guys. I can feel my teeth squishing into that potato bread already. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm going to get some lunch and then upload a video about my cute little apartment refresh. And then I'm just going to spend the rest of the day hopefully chilling out. If you guys only knew how hard it is for me to chill out, you know, being still is very difficult for me. I'm a busybody. I'm anxious. So I feel like being still is a waste of time. That's a hard one to get over. Okay, lunchy lunch. All right, you guys, that is certainly not the most appetizing <laughs> looking thing that I've ever seen, but it tastes so good. I put a little bit of garlic salt and some pepper in there. Those cranberries just give it the, just, you know, the tiniest amount of sweetness and I just I love the crunch that the celery and the almonds give to it and then we're gonna put some sprouts on yay Netflix and lunchy lunch yum here I am filming a random outro surprise surprise <laughs> you guys thank you so much for sitting through this video and spending this time with me. I'm always so, so grateful that you join me and I'm always super thankful for your support. So if you uh, love what you've seen here, I would absolutely be just thrilled if you subscribed and gave me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day, you guys. Thank <laughs> you.